Hi right, everybody, this is the Football Hut, the amazing, spectacular, terrific, the great one, the people's champion, your host, the Hut, and of course, the Giants have had for the last few years a problem at wide receiver. First of all, they haven't had a lot of talent there, and if they've had a lot of talent there, these players have been injured. Now, one of the areas of need, and as the season, last season was progressing, uh, players were dropping like flies through injuries. And Joe Shane in the offseason tried to remedy that by getting wide receivers and long um, threats in the offense. One includes tight end Darren Waller. According to GiantsWire.USA today, Giants have a problem at wide receiver, and that's a good thing. Well, it's a little bit different than it was a, a year, a, a, you know, almost six months ago. Let's see what this has to say. The New York Giants have a number of options at slot receiver this season. A situation made even more competitive after two veteran log, veterans logged in solid showings Friday night in Detroit. Cole Beasley caught all four of his targets for a total of 33 yards, and Jameson Crowder reeled in both of his for 32 yards. Now, the Giants did not start their, their starters on, on Friday. You know, Daniel Jones didn't play, Saquon Barkley didn't play, Darren Wall didn't play. The Giants signed each veteran this offseason as insurance after the receiver covered ran bare last season due to injuries, forcing the team to sign players off the street. One of the players they brought in last fall was Isaiah Hodgins, who provided the Giants with a huge boost down the stretch as they drove toward the playoffs. On Friday night, Hodgins, a prospective starter on the, on the outside, caught one pass with 13 yards to remind everyone that he's still very much in the plans. Head coach Brian Day will put Hodgins for 18, in for 18 snaps in the game, some early on and then again later in the game. Quote, I thought it was good for him, Dable said. He was a practice squad player for long for a while there, and he came on with us late, so I thought it was a good it was good to get him some reps early on with Tyrod Taylor, who was the starting quarterback on Friday before uh, he was taken out for Tommy uh, DeVito. The Giants wide receiver room is a very crowded one this summer, and when the music stops on August 29th for final cuts, there won't be enough chairs. Several will be coming home, or at the least, to the practice squad. Sterling Shepard is back, along with Darius Slayton and Hodgins. They, along with third rounder Jalen Hyatt and free agent Paris Campbell, <clears throat> are all shoe ins to make the roster. That perhaps leaves three open spots on the 53 man roster. With Beasley and Crowder stepping up, that number could be reduced to just one. Several players will have two games to make their cases. Heralded rookie Bryce Ford Wheaton did not have an impressive debut. Failing to rail in any of his three targets and dropped a sure reception that hit squarely in the chest. The ever-reliable ever David Sills IV made the most of his time catching two passes for 36 yards, including one for a 22-yard gain. Sills a long shot to make the team. The 27-year-old has been with the Giants since 2019, either on the active roster or the practice squad. Khalil Pim Pimpleton continues to play well, catching both his chances for a total of 15 yards. He can also contribute on special teams as a returner. Jaden Mickens had a six-yard reception in the game, but he appears to be headed to the practice squad at, practice squad at best. Colin Johnson missed all 22 of an Achilles injury Left the game with a bad knee. The six foot six former Texas standout had been having a solid camp. As of Saturday, Dable did not have an updated status on Johnson's injury. So you know, there's a lot of players here. There's a lot of quality here too. A lot of quality, a lot of youth, a lot of speed, and hopefully they'll be successful and stay healthy all at the same time. So thank you for watching this video. Of course, please subscribe to the Football Hut. Thank you, and I'll see you later.